One of the great fears of the shift from physical media to a more digital future has been the risk of games being pulled from the storefront and thus be unavailable despite you having paid good money for it. The Wii Store is a prime example of this. When it was finally disconnected on January 30th, 2019, everything you didn't already have downloaded was lost forever. There's no way to re-download purchases. Well, legally at least. Sony has done a better job of it than most. The only Sony device that currently can't directly connect to the PlayStation Network is the PSP. But you can still download purchased titles to your PC or PS3 and transfer them to the handheld via USB. Additionally, any game you might have purchased that's no longer available to purchase anew can still be found in your download list and recovered with only one exception that I'm aware of that we'll take care of later on. The most common reason for delisting tends to be the expiration of licensing rights for a given IP to be handled by a given developer or publisher. From Star Trek to Simpsons, Avatar to X-Men, Duke Nukem, to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Rights holders jealously guard the access to their properties, and if they declare that a publisher like Ubisoft or Konami are no longer allowed to make money from their ideas, those publishers have no choice but to remove their titles from online stores. There are subsets of IP rights exploration that can affect games as well. Ace Combat Assault Horizon is no longer available, not because the Ace Combat world isn't owned by Bandai Namco, but because the planes contained within are licensed reproductions of real-life craft from the likes of Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Dassault. Music licensing is another big issue that's blown up with the advent of CD-quality audio. Games like Guitar Hero and Rock Band have obviously had their issues, with Rock Band Blitz having been removed from the PSN in 2017. This isn't limited to music-centric games, of course. Music license expiration was behind the delisting of Pixel Junk Side Scroller, and may have contributed to the disappearance of cult favorite brawler Scott Pilgrim vs. The World The Game. Hope still lives for these two titles, though, as Q Games is still working to resecure the music rights for Side Scroller, and the original creator of Scott Pilgrim has voiced his desire to sort out the issues keeping that game off the market. Sort of in the same ballpark of IP licensing is when a studio simply goes out of business. Gauntlet 2 and other Midway Classic arcade games were delisted in 2011, when the last vestiges of the bankrupt legend were dissolved. A similar case was found in the mess around Zoo Entertainment's acquisition, which resulted in the delisting of Wanted Corp on the PS3, though the Vita version survived due to the developer self-publishing that port, and it was actually granted as a PS Plus freebie in December of 2017. It also caused a brief delisting of the puzzle platformer Storm, though that returned when the IP was picked up by a new company. You might be surprised to hear that not all delistings are due to bad news. Zen Pinball was removed from the PlayStation Network after the release of the superior in every way Zen Pinball 2. And fortunately, the same hasn't followed from Zen Pinball 2 to Pinball FX3, as there are few tables that were unable to be brought forward, 
again due to IP rights issues. PopCap also retired older versions of their classics Bejeweled and Peggle after new versions were released. Lastly, we come to the big one. The only PlayStation Network game I know of that's not only delisted, but is reportedly unable to be re-downloaded even if you had previously grabbed it. PT was designed to be a playable teaser for a Hideo Kojima-helmed entry into the Silent Hill series. The demo itself was instantly hailed as one of the better horror experiences available for about nine months. After a relatively public parting with Kojima, Konami declared his name would be struck from every tablet and obelisk, and the title was yanked from the PlayStation Network. For a short time after, there were PS4s with PT hiding on the hard drive going for upwards of $1,000 on eBay, simply so people could sample this great bit of horror. If there's any good news on this one, no one's out any money on it. Well, at least the folks who just downloaded the free demo. Well, since this is a shuffle, we have a giveaway to take care of. I had to consider this one given the unavailability of most of the titles on this list, but I think I've got a good solution. This month's giveaway will be Midway Arcade Treasures Volume 2 for the PlayStation 2. This was specifically selected due to its inclusion of Gauntlet 2, but it's also got classics like Championship Sprint, Rampage World Tour, Mortal Kombat 2 and 3, and Xenophobe, and... You know what? Screw it. Having just Volume 2 would annoy the crap out of me, so the winner will get all three Arcade Treasures volumes. Head on over to my Twitter feed at Tesseract to unfold and retweet one of my posts of this video for a chance to win. Are there any digital titles you miss? Do you have a death grip on some favorite title hoping against hope that your hard drive will never die? Let me know below, then please like, subscribe, spread the word, and I'll see you guys all again next week.